right, all right, all right. Welcome, everybody. Welcome back to the Brandon Ivy Show. My name is Brandon Ivy, and I'm glad to bring to you another tip of the day. Now, this is very, very important because the last tip I gave at the end, I said I was going to give a bonus tip, and I only gave half of it. So I want to finish that thought for those of you who felt that I might have left you hanging. So what the point was, and this is what I was saying, instead of wishing things were easier, you want to work on yourself becoming better. Let's, 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 let's think about that for a second. Let's analyze that. See, where you are in life right now is the sum result of every decision you've made up until this point. You're comfortable. You may not be hurting bad enough. You're still hurting. But it's like what Les Brown says about that old dog who sat on the farmer's porch that was always whining and crying. And, and when the kids walk by, they ask, you know, why is that dog just whining and crying so much? What's the problem? The farmer says because the dog is laying on a nail. Well, why doesn't the dog just get up and move? Because it doesn't hurt bad enough. See, <laughs> that's how we are in our lives. Unless it's hurting bad enough, we are not going to step out of our comfort zone. We want things to be handed to us. We want things to be easier. If we're presented with a challenge, only the rare exceptional few rise up and meet that challenge. This is why most people live mediocre lives. They're not willing to take the risk, nor are they willing to learn new skills that's going to help them advance further in life so if we take this mindset and put it into network marketing and sad to say this is the mindset that majority of network marketers have and hopefully by you listening to this tip you can recognize if you have this mindset or not I'm gonna give you an example somebody joins a company that costs five hundred dollars to get in and they're excited about it. They, they went to a convention. They're all hyped up about it. And they go out there and they start talking to people and people say no to them. And they turn around and say, you know, I can't sign up anybody in a $500 opportunity. It costs too much money. I'm going to go jump ship and join another company where it costs less money to get involved. So they do that. They get into a company that costs $250. They get all excited. They're hyped up about it. And you know what happens? They start talking to people and people still say no. And they're like, I don't get it. It's not even $500. It's only $250. And people still saying no. So then they say, you know, maybe it's the economy is so bad right now. I got I to gotta get into something that's easier for people. So they join a $99 opportunity. And they go out there and they talk to people. They're excited. People still say no. What? Is the economy that bad that people can't afford 99 bucks? That's $3.33 a day? I, I got, people can't afford that every single month, Brandon. I got to go find something easier. Okay. Then you go and join a $49 opportunity. And you get excited, you're hyped up. And you go out there and talk to people. And you might get one or two. But your business still doesn't grow. People still say no. And you're like, man, uh, the economy's really bad. I gotta, I gotta get something that's easier than that. Let me find a free opportunity. Because you, could, because, you know, pe people got bills to pay. They got, they got lives to live. They can't afford the, the, the high cost of doing business. It's too hard. We got to make it easier for them. So let's, let's do a free opportunity. And you get into a free opportunity and you're excited. Oh, I'm going to sign up a thousand people now because it's free. And still people say no to you. And you're like, I don't get it. 
why would you say no to a free opportunity? <laughs> it's free, and people still say no to it. So you say, what? what is the issue? Maybe, maybe because the products are bad. And you, you go through this cycle, and you never for once ask yourself, did you ever learn the skills necessary to be able to close out and recruit people no matter what the cost is? Did you ever learn how to create enough value for something that it doesn't matter if it's $500 or $5,000? I remember my old mentor used to tell me, hey, if I had a Lamborghini out front, a $250,000 car in the front, and I said I'm giving it away for $5,000, how fast do you think you can come up with $5,000? Oh, very quickly. Well, I tell you, I've got a business that can earn you $250,000, and the cost is $5,000 getting in. How fast do you think you're going to get to $5,000? Well, if I know I can get $250,000, of course I'll go find it. See, this is where value comes in and where you need to learn skills necessary so that you can portray the value of your opportunity because when the value is high enough the cost doesn't matter you don't look at the cost any business that I join I don't care about what the cost is I care about how much money can I make and most people out there see well that means I have to learn a new skill that's hard. I don't wanna I don't wanna become better. I don't wanna grow in my own personal development. I don't wanna grow in my marketing skills. I want somebody to give me something that's easy to do. I wish it to be easier. I pray that it be easier. If you wanna pray for something, pray for you to become better. Talk about King Solomon. When the Lord asked him, you can have anything that you want. You know what he said? I want wisdom wisdom he didn't say I want things to be easier he asked to become better do you get the picture here because by becoming better you're gonna be able to be successful at anything that you do without having any excuses so here's the tip Instead of wishing that things are easier, work on becoming better or you will always be chasing the golden goose. Always. And you will always point the finger at somebody else or something else or circumstances instead of looking at yourself in the mirror and realizing that you are the issue. We're all human. We all put on two to our feet our shoes on the same foot and we put pants on the same leg and the same 24 hours in a day and if somebody can make six figures a month in an opportunity that's cost thirteen hundred dollars why can't you what's the difference between you and that person oh well they learn skills necessary to build their business while you're still running around trying to find something that's easier <laughs> all right this is the, that's the tip of the day my name is brandon ivy looking forward to coming back with you with another tip bye bye